Hello, and welcome to Scientifically Speaking, where we talk, talk about truth and science and spirituality. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about how I've said um, that the electromagnetic field uh, should be mapped so we can see a 3D field of it. Um, I've uh, shown and attempted several ways of doing this over the years. Um, it's never been done with any real practicality. Um, but here's an idea that I showed uh, quite a while ago. When was that? Uh, September 2019. So two years ago, I showed this way to build up a picture of the magnetic field because uh, every bit of science and uh, theory or apophasis out there has never uh, defined the field and has never actually shown a picture of the field. Now, I've defined a field by uh, writing um, the motion of everything, uh, a field defined. And I've also uh, shown this video, which shows you how to build up a map of the field. And it's very, very simple. And it's based on the reasoning of the video that I'm about to show. Now, this video, as soon as I mention it, you're going to say, well, why couldn't anybody do that with a magnet? The video is called After She Died, A Woman Got Sliced Up 27,000 Times for Science and Became a Visual Human. Let's listen to what happened. Take a slice, a slice off, off every increment, about the thickness of an average human hair. By the time we got to uh, imaging Susan, it was 27,000 slices. So you expose a new surface by cutting it off with this, with this cutter, spray it with alcohol, take a picture, and start the process all over again. The first part of seeing this body after it's imaged is you see cross-sections. You see every slice from head to foot, in this case 27,000 slices, you can remove one muscle at a time or, or isolate one artery or one nerve so that we can explain to students not just the, the name of the nerve, but where does it travel? What's next to it? I think Susan would be extremely happy. This kind of information can educate everyone, from the public to our medical students. So they take a slice and then they go lower and take another slice. Then they go lower and take another slice until they've sliced her body into 27,000 slices. So it's dead easy to map a human body as long as you take slices so you can build things up. So what do I want to do? I wanted to do the same thing. Now, I did a rotating magnetic field that I took uh, several uh, maybe 150 photos. I then sent those to somebody else and he put it into a rotating magnetic field which ended up looking like a galaxy field. D model. 2D photos of the North Pole of a magnet turned into a 3D model, then turned upside down and added to form two sides of a magnet to represent one whole field or a galaxy. So let's see what it looked like. So somebody else did this for me. I gave him the photos. So he's just building it up here, so we'll just go to the full. So this, uh, my settings are at 360p, unfortunately. But basically, that's what a magnetic field looks like when you build it up from pictures from the side. So we can't actually go into it, but if it was sliced, we should be able to. So that's what you get with that. So I've already done that. Didn't get a lot of uh, reviews. Apparently, it's difficult to uh, imagine it, even though I did it and took photos and built it into a 3D model. So how do you build up a 3D model of a person? You take slices and slices and slices. Now, what is this video that I've brought up? This is 4K magnetic field with elevation changes. And I go through this... Uh, arrangement of magnets, which is two little bar magnets with four round magnets just attached to it. It was a nice pretty shape, made a pretty shape. And then what did I do? Well, then I put it through elevation changes. And so I went up and down, moving down millimeter by millimeter. I didn't take photos. I just wanted to show visually um, how the field is constructed as you raise and lower a ferro cell towards and away from the magnets. I didn't take photos because 
I don't have a program that can take a depth depth field and stack it like they did with the woman who got sliced into 27,000. I could only do a rotating one so that you could take a picture of it from the side as it rotated. This is going up and down. So basically, I didn't need it rotating. If I could have just taken a shot and then moved it down a millimeter and down a millimeter and down a millimeter, I could take a photo of the entire field so that somebody else could put it into a 3D imaging field and then we could turn it into a 3D uh, program where we could look at every single level and watch where all these lit lines follow. Hopefully you understood. So I've put up two different types of 3D imaging um, where you could get a complete picture of the field but science is not interested and nobody else on YouTube is interested or capable of taking up this very simple challenge. I showed a very simple free energy machine the other day. Many people poo-pooed it. It's a bit of a shame really because I don't see anybody else getting free energy out of a machine except me. I had one guy call me a tool and a fool and yet his channel was all about over unity and creating energy from nothing and not one of his machines worked. But he decided to come on and start shouting at me, which I thought was a little embarrassing. Um, but I got 40 seconds of free bounce out of a magnet with a weight on top of it. About a pound's worth of weight. And I moved that pound 40 times. Funny, eh? But I've been shadow banned, shadow linked and defamed, slandered and libeled and all sorts of vile other things said to me for the past, well, seven years, really. So uh, understand, I know exactly how to uh, map the field. I just don't have the money or resources to be able to do it. So thanks again for allowing me to show you um, the things that God showed me and the ideas that God showed me so that I could... Uh, give these ideas to other people because I don't have the money or the resources. People like to say, he's got a donation button and blah, 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 and he has advertising and all this other stuff. Yeah, the advertising pays me nothing. Um, the views pay me approximately $15 a month for 600 videos. Um, and uh, I'm not part of any conspiracy where people pay me. And nobody donates. One person donated in the last uh, two years. And they donated $11. So anybody's saying that because I have a donation button and I run adverts that I'm some sort of uh, massive income superhero. Again, this is defamation, slander and libel um, to try and make this channel of God look bad. And as God said, there will be many, many, many false prophets that show up. And they're all around me. And they're all trying to pretend that I am the person who is the liar. And yet I've shown more brand new science and incredible ideas that God gave me to show since the day I started. And I'll continue to do this. Um, I'm trying to stay away from the narcissistic, insane lunatics that are on YouTube. Um, you see, I'm a confrontational person. I'll walk over and say, how about you repeat that to my face? You see, nobody on YouTube will. Because they're all armchair warriors, which is a bit of a shame, really. It just shows you the uh, cowardly stupidity of morons that are on the internet. Um, so, if anybody uh, has a program that will 3D stack the same way as the human anatomy program is put together, so that you can zoom in, out, turn it left, right, and look at everything, come and tell me and we'll collaborate. I'll take as many photos of you as you would like of a raised and lowered magnet so that we can take slices of the field and then reproduce it. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ and I'm quite a reasonable man and I'm yet to meet anybody who's ever argued with me. I'm yet to meet a man who isn't a moron or reasonable. They all become very stupid, very unreasonable and then start lying about me because half the time I prove that what they just said was a pile of nonsense. So there we go, how to map the field. Thanks a lot.